channel today. Today's video, we are going to be doing a review and lip swatches of the new Lancome Juicy Shakers. So I am really excited about these. I've been seeing these all over Instagram. I've been seeing them all over YouTube, all over blogs. And I was like, you know what? These are really hot products right now. They were even all sold out on Sephora. So I had to get mine from Nordstrom. So I was like, you know what? We got to try these out. I want to see, are these really hot or are they not? So before we get into this hot or not review, if you are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Feel free to subscribe right here. That way you don't miss out on any other videos. I post quite frequently, so make sure to subscribe. And now let's just go ahead and get into these review and lip swatches. All right, so first off, the packaging says that these are pigment infused by face lip oils. So they are a lip oil that have a pigment to them. Really, really nice. So you can actually pick these up at Sephora, Macy's, Nordstrom's, anywhere where they sell Lancome. I'm pretty sure you can pick these up. I will have them all listed and linked down below for you guys if you decide that you wanna check them out. And these retail for $21 and they have a total of 20 colors in the collection. I have 11 shades here for you guys. I will be doing a lip swatch for you. So the most common way that I've been seeing everyone swatching these is on their hands. I haven't really seen many lip swatches, so I will be concluding the lip swatches further on in the video for you guys, because I feel like you really should be able to see how these look like on the lips by themselves with no lip liners, no lipsticks, no lip crayons, no nothing underneath them, so you can actually see their true color. So now let's just go ahead and get on into the packaging. This is what they look like. They look like a little cocktail shaker, which is super cute. It kind of reminds me of like when you make like an apple teeny, you'd be like, yeah. Apple teeny. Yeah, I was so obsessed with apple teenies in college and then I realized like how sugary they were and I was like, Ugh, this is not gonna work. So yeah, but these are super cute. I love the fact that they are little cocktail shakers. And then also when you open them up, you have a big sponge applicator right there. So when I first saw these, I was like, oh, is this applicator gonna be really hard to apply with? How's this gonna be? But it's a really big sponge and it's actually really easy to apply with because I already did all the 11 lip swatches, which let me tell you, usually when I do lip swatches, my lips are in so much pain afterwards. Like they're red and disinflamed and they're just like, oh, I hate you, Madison. <laughs> but I have to say, this was my first lip swatch ever that I got done with and my lips actually felt amazing. They are so moisturized right now and they feel so good. So yeah. This has definitely gotta be like my favorite lip swatch video I've ever done because my lips actually aren't in pain. They actually feel a lot better than what they did beforehand. So these definitely are very, very moisturizing on the lips. I didn't have any problems with application. They do not feather out and they do not bleed out. So they perfectly stay on the lips and look absolutely gorgeous. You can definitely wear these by themselves and I really like it. And also these are very healthy for the lips. They have a lot of anti-aging benefits. They have nourishing oils in them and they're just overall really good on your lips. And I love that because I'm a huge lip junkie, but I really do love wearing lip products that actually make my lips feel better rather than worse. Because sometimes with the liquid lipsticks, they just feel too drying and my lips just hate me after them. So with these, I really love the way that these feel on the lips. They make my lips feel so good. So I definitely think that these are perfect for the summertime because as you know, the summertime is really hot and just sticky and icky and you just wanna feel very bright and fresh with your makeup and have very light makeup on. So these are the perfect products to wear on your lips because they're also very moisturizing too. They're not sticky, they're non-drying, they just feel overall really good on your lips. And even when they wear off, they make your lips feel very moisturized like you're wearing some type of balm or something. And I also like the way that these look on the lips. They kind of give you that popsicle look, you know, in the summertime when you're eating like a red popsicle and it leaves that really pretty like red or pink stain on the lips. That's what these kind of leave and it's absolutely gorgeous. And also another little plus to these is the smell. Let me just tell you about the smell. So each shade has its own particular smell and they all correlate with their names. So this one is called Lemon Explosion, which is an absolutely gorgeous color and it smells like lemon. It's these really kind of like remind me of like a Jolly Rancher or a Starburst, something very fruity, something very fresh. And they, they all just smell so good. So there's some that have berries that will smell like berries or some that are cherries that smell like cherries. And there's some that like mangoes that smell like mangoes. So I really love the fact that they correlated the names to the scents of each of these. So yes, and they also don't taste too bad either because let me tell you, when you're wearing a lip product and you know, it's going to accidentally get in your mouth and you want it to taste good, you don't want it to taste bad. So yeah, these actually don't taste too bad either. All right, so also I wanna give you another little tip about these is that you can actually make your own lip cocktail with these. So, which totally goes with it because you know, it's like a shaker. 
So you can also take two Juicy Shakers and make your own shades with them, or what you can do is you can take like a matte lip crayon or any type of lip crayon, or take a lipstick, put that on first, and then put the Juicy Shaker on top of it. So the lip cocktail that I created is I took the Fiona Styles Lip Crayon in Sunny Dip, which is a really pretty coral shade, and then I took the Juicy Shaker in Freedom of Peach, and I put this one on top. So I think these pair just beautifully together. I am wearing it right now on my lips. It definitely made it so moisturizing and so nice to wear. So I definitely recommend putting these on top of a lip product that you want it to be a little bit more moisturizing. They just look so beautifully. So you can wear these any way that you guys please, but that is just like another little way that you guys can wear them. So I love making little lip cocktails. You guys know that on my channel. I will always mix colors just to create my own color. So the way that I recommend applying these is you wanna make sure you shake it up because there is an oil and the pigment and if you let them sit for a while, you'll notice them separating. So there's also a little bead in there that will help mix up the products together. And then you just unscrew it, take it out, and then just dab it on your lips. Like so. So I really like these. These are perfect to reapply with, perfect for on the go, super gorgeous. And yeah, so now let's just go ahead and get into the lip swatches of each of the colors. All right, so the first one I'm gonna swatch real quick is Lemon Explosion, and I just love the smell of this one. So I just take it out and I just swatch it on my hand. So you're not gonna get much color there, but you will be able to see it on my lips. I definitely do notice that the lighter shades aren't as pigmented as the darker shades. Remember, these are lip oil, so they are not opaque, they are not super pigmented. They just bring a really pretty kind of a light tint to the lips, which I, I love that, I love it. So it's coming off clear on my hand right here, but you guys can take a look at it swatched over there. This one is a really pretty kind of like peachy coral shade that has a little bit of glitter in it. I don't really notice much of the glitter that are coming off on the lips. You definitely can see it a little bit on the swatch on my hand, but it's very subtle. It's not gritty, it's nothing like that. It's very, just a very light, subtle of glitter in it, but absolutely gorgeous. I really like this shade, super pretty. All right, so the next one I'm gonna be swatching is the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now, and this one is the Freedom of Peach. This one actually really reminds me of Lemon Explosion, so I definitely recommend getting one or the other. But again, this one is just a really pretty kind of like peachy coral shade, and it has a little bit more of a pigment to it. It's so gorgeous. I love this one. I love the tint that this one leaves. It's just very bright and fresh looking. All right, so the next one I'm gonna swatch is called Boom Maringu. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It will be on the screen. I need to get better at pronouncing words, but this one is just a really pretty kind of light petal pink in a sense. It's got some purple in it, but it's really pretty. You can kind of see it there swatched on my hand, but definitely look over there at the lip swatches. You'll be able to see more of its true color over there. But yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I really, really do like this one. All right, so the next one I'm gonna swatch is one of my favorites, and this is a piece of cake. I wanna smell this one. Mmm, so they smell just like very fruity, you guys. Just very fruity and like juicy, like really good. So this one is actually a lot more pigmented. It's not like super pigmented, but it's a lot more pigmented than the lighter shade. So remember, the darker the shade, the more pigmentation it's going to have in it. So I definitely recommend the darker shades. So this one is just a really gorgeous kind of mauve rose shade. Super, super pretty. I really, really like this one. I definitely recommend Piece of Cake. All right, so the next one I'm gonna swatch is called Berry in Love. And this one is just like a really pretty kind of plum berry shade. I really think it's more plum, but it's so pretty. Let me just get it in there so you guys can see a little bit more of the pigmentation. But there it is right there swatched on my, my hair keeps getting on my arm. But there it is swatched on my hand. See how gorgeous that is? It just brings the most Gorgeous like plum tint to the lips. Really, really pretty. Definitely recommend this one too. All right, so the next one is another one I love. I love a lot of these shades, you guys. And this is Berry Tail. So this one's kind of like a really pretty kind of like hot pink, more like a deeper pink, you know? Just really, really pretty. Oh, love this one, especially for the summertime. It just brightens up the whole makeup look, makes it look really fresh. Absolutely gorgeous. 
yeah all right so next up i have this like very like kind of neon orange shade right here and it's called apricot so it's a very neon apricot shade but this one is actually very wearable even for me because you guys know i'm not really big into the orange shades but this one just looks really really pretty on the lips i have to say so it just leaves a really pretty kind of like orange apricot tint to the lips super super pretty and very wearable for every skin type all right, so next up we're going to be getting into the reds, and this one is Mangoes Wild. So mangoes are actually, I think, a little bit more, what, yellow, orange? But this is red, so I don't know about what that one, but I want to smell this one because we know I love mangoes. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, I love the smell of these. So this one is like a really pretty kind of, God, how do I even describe this shade? It's a berry rose shade, I want to say, yeah. I'm gonna go with Berry Rose. So this is what it looks like on my hand. Really gorgeous. I definitely recommend the darker shades because they have a little bit more pigmentation in them. But I still really do like the lighter shades as well. But if you want one that has a little bit more pigment to it, definitely get a darker shade. All right, so next up we have another red shade and this is called Cherry Symphony. So this one is more of a kind of a deeper cherry color. It's definitely a little bit more bolder. You can kind of see it right here. Really, really pretty, absolutely gorgeous. You can definitely see how this one is a little bit more pigmented as well. Super gorgeous, leaves the perfect tint to the lips. Love it. All right, so next up we have It's My Jam. And this one is, it's definitely like a deeper, bolder red, kind of like a rustic red, I wanna say. But check that out, really pretty as well. I really like these red shades because I don't really like wearing red lipsticks or anything, nothing too pigmented like with that red, but this is like a very safe way to wear red. So, and it's also very moisturizing. So yeah, I really recommend these ones. And the last shade that I have in this collection is called Good Caramel. Ooh. Mmm. This one also is a kind of like a bolder berry shade, I want to say. Deep, bold berry shade super pretty so as you guys can tell that a lot of these like deeper red bolder shades definitely look very similar so i don't think that you have to go out and get all three of them or all of them you know because i think you definitely can suffice with one also when it comes down to lemon explosion and freedom of peach those two are very similar as well so i just recommend getting one of those but yeah this one's definitely a really really pretty kind of like deeper bolder berry shade super gorgeous all right, so those are all the Lancome Juicy Shaker shades that I purchased from the collection. Remember, there are 20, and I showed you guys 11 of them. They're absolutely gorgeous. I definitely recommend these. Out of it being hot or not, I definitely have to say that these are hot. They are definitely perfect for the summertime. I definitely, definitely recommend these, you guys. They're amazing. But also, if you guys want a little bit more pigmentation, remember to go for more of the bolder colors rather than the lighter colors because you are going to get a little bit more pigment from them. But I think they all are gorgeous and I think they look amazing and I definitely really do like these. So I'm really excited to be wearing these throughout the summer because they're just the perfect thing to put in your bag and just touch up on the go. But if you guys enjoyed this review and lip swatches, then please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below which shade was your favorite or if you guys have tried these, what you think of them, all that fun stuff. And yeah, so don't forget to subscribe for future videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!